<laughs> what it is what it ain't it's your girl ombre alert and i'm back with another video okay so we're going to continue the black pioneers black history edition videos so we have a new black pioneer in this video so if you're ready i need you to like this video subscribe comment below if you're black and you're proud because we're going to get it on okay so i do have some announcements to make in this video that i'm very excited about so we're going to just get straight to it and get to the facts okay this black pioneer is the one the true the only madam cj walker yes i said it madam cj walker the first self-made millionaire in america black female poppin okay and what is the definition of self-made since we're getting into this and why the first self-made woman is black is in america self-made is having gained success without aid okay and that's from dictionary.com okay so that what that means is is gaining success without any help without any funding without any any kind of backing okay and that's why she is the first self-made millionaire there is no fuck the college in or all of them motherfuckers that's not true you know if you're not talking about madam cj walker who are you talking about okay so i'm gonna give you the facts so you know why she's self-made so you know why she's doing it okay so madam cj walker first started out working as a washerwoman okay in st louis and she had a daughter at the time and as she was working as a washerwoman she was only making a dollar and fifty cents a day and um back then that might have supported you you know throughout the week but of course it wasn't very you know financially stable but it was what she had to do you know what i'm saying it was either work as a washerwoman or pick cotton and she didn't want to do that because she saw her parents struggle to do that you know all her life growing up so she's just a teenager working as a washer woman and she's a young single mom you know so she just doing whatever she got to do to support her baby girl and i'm here for it here for it here for it so unfortunately as she's working as a washer woman getting her money handling her business she does start to gain a scalp irritation where she starts to lose her hair and you know i I can't even imagine that like her not knowing what to do it being like around the 1880s or 1890s there's no products for black women out so I can understand her being like what the hell am I gonna do now so like I said there weren't any products for black women back then so she really just started to make her own products which is bossy bold and fabulous okay so around the 1890s that's when she perfected her products and started to launch them everywhere so what she did was she physically made the products at home and she started to travel the country teaching black women how to use her products and how to apply them correctly to their hair for better length retention better success better volume better pop in curls better everything okay so she kept doing this um until 1905 she really began selling her products and you know continuing to you know travel and and teach people how to use her products and that's when she gained um real success because she created the chase method and we all call it the chase method but we should call them the madam cj walker method okay or the cj walker method or whatever but we should give her the credit for this because she um actually created it and the chase method what you might be like what is the chase method the chase method is <laughs> it's actually like taking a comb combing your hair and flat ironing it at the same time and you might see hairstylists do this in videos on instagram or whatever the case may be and um, it originally came from Madam C.J. Walker. Of course, it was with her products, and it maybe included a brush and a comb or whatever the case may be, but Madam C.J. Walker created this, okay? So we got to give credit to, to the girl, to the lady, to the woman, okay? To the black woman for doing this for us, okay? So 
Her second husband was named Charles J. Walker, and he's the guy that helped her with a little bit of the advertising, and he convinced her to change her name to Madam C.J. Walker so that her brand could be easily recognized, you know, everywhere. And this was like the best idea, really. And it was just a suggestion, but I'm glad that she listened to it because it actually did work. So she changed her name to Madam C.J. Walker after she developed her products. And then she really went went up and up from there. You know what I'm saying? So after that, um, she continued to do tutorials. She had her own little um, like school um, teaching black women how to use the products. And, you know, she was teaching beauticians everywhere. She traveled to Brazil. She traveled to tons of other European countries. And she also um, got so successful that she was able to buy herself a nice mansion in Irvington, New York City. So I'm like, wow, like when you see this mansion, you're going to be like, what? So I'm going to put pictures up here like, yeah, she had a whole big mansion and the mansion was a big deal. OK, and I feel like it's so nice necessary because all of her traveling that's really how she gained success because her tutorials really helped women really encouraged women to buy her products and encouraged women to treat their natural hair better so it really just worked for her all the way around and she needed a place to rest you know after all of that traveling you do get tired okay so why not buy yourself a mansion okay she bought herself a mansion it's huge it's beautiful and not only was it a mansion, but it was a hot spot during the Harlem Renaissance, okay? So she had people, artists of all kinds coming to her house, her mansion, just to chill, just to, you know, play games with each other, you know, play chess and, you know, artistic stuff. Like, it was popping. So if you're wondering what the Harlem Renaissance, it is a period during the 1920s where black people, black musicians, artists, writers, photographers, all architects, um, all, it was like a golden age for black people in, in the arts specifically, okay? So all people of all different artistic abilities, black people came to her house just to hang out, just to chill, talk, whatever the case may be. So that was the chill spot, her house, her mansion, okay? So not only did she also open her home to artists like herself, she also donated to charities. She was very much involved in the NAACP. And um, she also um, spent time, you know, teaching women, especially beauticians, women that wanted to be, you know, involved in hair care, how to, you know, take care of their hair. And that's what she did most of her life is travel, teach women about her products and, you know, just bask in the success. And this was the 1920s. OK, this was the time around like everybody talks about the great Gatsby, but they forget like black people don't forget the Harlem Renaissance was our shit. OK, that was the New York, the Chicago, you know, the pop and shit, the D.C., you know what I'm saying? So we can't forget, like, our success and our golden age. It's like, you know, white people, they had their golden age, but we had ours too, okay? So um, not only did she do all of these things, but she created products that lasted decades and decades and decades. I mean, it's 2020, and her products are still making money, still out, and her products are actually exclusively available at Sephora as we speak. And I made this blog post on Madam C.J. Walker like um, two years ago, actually, and I bought some of her products at the time. These are not out anymore, but she does have renewed products that are around this area. I have been using faithfully this um, Curl Enhancing Jamaican Castor Oil um, Ultra Moisturizing Co-Wash. It's almost gone. It's so freaking good and it smells so good like oh oh my god if you, it smells so good and i i've seen like i've done reviews on this and i've seen that people have been trying to get their hands on it but 
it's gone like i hope it comes back out or something but it's gone as far as i know i just recently looked on the website and i didn't even see it so and on sephora so i don't know but i also have this curl whip styling souffle and this is really good for if you want to like revive your um curls after you done laid on it and they look crunchy you know what i'm saying you want to get your curls popping before you hit the door this is what you want to use I love this. I haven't really used it recently, but I do like this. And I have not actually used this um, silkening conditioning, conditioner, excuse me. And I only haven't used it because it's for straight hairstyles. So when you like want to um, flat iron your hair, I feel like this is the, a good conditioner to use. And it's cool because it opened my eyes. I never thought it was like different you know conditioners to use for if you want curly hair straight hair so that's cool so um yes that's madam cj walker she's successful um she did create an um a art center um and it's still a historical landmark her mansion is still a historical landmark and her daughter alila she actually is still um you know overseeing her company so that's really good that it's still in the family and another fun fact is is that if anybody does want to take over the company in the future it can only be a black woman so i think that that's really good because it's an exclusive like position for black women only so that's popping and that's like she did her thing you know like she did so good like mm that's crazy like it's so inspiring you know what i'm saying and it's unfortunate that in school they don't dive as deep as they should into like facts like this because it's so important for black girls for black people to know this about their own history and with that being said i'm gonna get to my announcement okay i know you guys have been looking at my hair in this whole video and be like damn her hair look good you know what i'm saying and that's because i created my own hairline and i actually just launched it today okay 2 12 2020 okay so i have come up with a brand and it's called empress hair solution okay and i've been going back and forth with my formula for um a couple months now and i finally got it good so um my first product is the detangling cream treatment and that's why my hair looks so popping right now i actually just took my twist out out like before i did this video because i wanted you guys to see what the results look like for my hair as you can see my curls are popping they're hydrated my hair isn't dry like it feels so good um it smells it has a lavender scent um i also make this product with rice water with himalayan salt and almond oil and you know it just comes together you know and a couple other ingredients but i can't tell y'all everything but um i definitely want you guys to try this product um don't let the size fool you you know what i'm saying it packs heat i use this um i use this size you know you don't really have to apply too much to your hair and you'll just brush your hair and the slip is amazing like i i thought it was important to make my own product because i wanted to do a conditioner that focuses more on hair growth and locking in moisture at the same time so boom there you go empress hair solution detangling cream treatment that's what's in my hair right now okay so if you want popping curls i will leave the um the link below so that you guys can shop with me exclusively and so you guys can follow me on social media i'll leave my ig below you know what i'm saying if you want to follow me on instagram whatever the case is you can follow me all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video i need you to like comment and subscribe it's ombre alert and i'm out bye